Hello everybody, my name is Zen and welcome to the very first episode of Thorium, which is a modded Terraria uh, series that we're doing where we're going to play as a bard, a musical class with instruments. Right now I'm killing a slime with a sword because I don't have any weapons made, but we'll do that in just a second. In fact, let's go ahead and dive right in. So first things first, and, and this is uh, just basic housekeeping. I just got done doing a Calamity... Uh, rogue playthrough, which you could go see. It was fun. We got, oh, that was not a great build for that weapon. Really with the, the, <laughs> I got the worst like possible rolls on those that, you know what? I'll take, I'll take that. We'll, we'll get rid of these weapons, put these down here. So yeah, they, I did a Calamity Rogue playthrough. It was a lot of fun. Um, got all the way through to Supreme Calamitous and gave up because man, that was just not working for us. But if you want to see it, I'll put it in the description and in the comments. I also did a full Calamity Mage playthrough. That was also a lot of fun. And I've also done Hardcore uh, Terraria 1.4. So all of that stuff will be linked in the comments in case you want more Terraria. But I encourage you, if you're interested in playing modded Terraria, to jump in on Tmod Loader, download Thorium, and play with me. Play alongside me um, as I go through this modded journey. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, we'll discuss the the uh bard mechanics in a moment i did also just really quick want to say that um, when it comes to the mods that i'm using i will go ahead and show you them at the end of the video we'll get all the way through and i'll show you my full list of mods but outside of that man i am i'm excited to be doing this this is this is a nice change of pace from playing calamity so much um over the last year so how does a bard work well the bard has a whole different I, I have an auto pause on so we can actually explain a little bit of this because it is different it's not quite like the other mods that we've played on the channel um so i have wind instruments and percussion instruments and electric instruments a bunch of different kind of instruments that i can use as weapons and they all do symphonic damage which is the bard uh damage in thorium but it also gives and uses inspiration. So inspiration is like my resource that I use. Um, so for example, when I fire off this, it's it's a whistle. So get, get used to the whistle noise, boys. <laughs> um, you see that I have, uh, I'm getting inspiration, um, which is a buff. So this one buffs me with 5% um, maximum resource, which is not bad, um, but it also costs resource in order to use so um the, the resources are above my head there it's kind of a nice little ui element um yeah so we're gonna basically use this really annoying whistle until we get a new weapon there's like a flute and whatnot that i can get on the surface um i am gonna quickly just make a box hut for for us um when it comes to the build that i'm gonna be doing for the primary house that i i'm gonna have it is straight up going to be a tavern. And I'm looking forward to that because, you know, bards and taverns, they go hand in hand. All right, box hut achieved. <laughs> we got we got one, one little uh, house there. This mod also has all of its own NPCs. So just like in Calamity, we'll be attempting to get those as much as possible. This weapon is so annoying. Not all of them are like this, but this one definitely is. So we need to get <laughs> a better weapon ASAP. Uh, the way that we can do that is going and finding chests just like this one. Wow, that was like perfect timing. Thanks, chest. You're the best. Uh, but we didn't get what we're looking for here, unfortunately. But what we can do... Oh, you know what? I'm going to pick this chest up. Uh, what we can do is we can attempt to find a flute, I think is what it is. Which doesn't sound much better, honestly, to, to what our really bad whistle sounds like. Um, but yeah, we could get a flute. Uh, we're also capable of getting um, some some cloth by using cobwebs and just making cloth, which will allow us to get the like percussive instruments. I think there's like a drumstick or something like that, drum mallet, uh, possibly that we can get with that. So yeah, there's there's like a lot of options for us. Uh, we can also get uh, I think that's like a trumpet maybe. Um, using gold or platinum. Obviously, we're not going to get that right away, but we can use iron or actually it might be copper or tin. I think it's copper or tin for 
some of the other weapons as well. So like we, we have a lot of weapon options available to us right off the bat, which is one thing I certainly appreciate with Thorium. You do get quite a bit of initial weapons in regards to um, Calamity, but yeah, I, I feel like Thorium has got a bunch of stuff going on. And hey, you know what? If you want to play alongside me, you don't even have to play a bard if you don't want to. I recommend the other classes that Thorium has, such as the Thrower class, which is pretty cool. Uh, but they also have the what kind of, is that silver? Do we have silver in our world? We're going to find out in a second. I, I believe we do. Yeah, nice. Okay, we got silver. Um, yeah, they also have the healer. The healer is really interesting. It sounds very much like a class that will be good playing in multiplayer and it's not technically wrong, and I mean, it is correct that it is technically better in multiplayer because you can keep your team alive. But the healer also has like a lot of dark shadow abilities, which are, I think are super cool. There's other options there. I, I think that you don't have to play a bard to play alongside me, but let me know what you are playing. I would love to know, actually. I, I think it's fascinating to see what people choose. Um, we ran a poll to decide whether or not we were going to play the bard or another class. And the bard is what won. And this is what you have subjected yourself to for the next, like, 40 episodes, 30 episodes. I don't know how long it's going to take us to beat Thorium. Not as long as Calamity, I'll tell you that much. Calamity has, like, a huge, huge list of bosses. That's that's what its focus is, is um, hard bosses. This is going to take forever to kill this guy. Die. You will eventually die. Oh, my goodness. Just the slime. Just, oh, gosh, stop. There we go. Ah, we did it. Um, <laughs> let's look at the bosses, in fact. So the first boss is the Grand Thunderbird. I need to get out of here, but I don't have any recall. Oh, I did get recall potions. Um, am I going to be able to kill this thing? It's possible. Let's let's see. Oh, if I guess I actually have to hit it first. <laughs> I'm surviving in a cave with a whistle and a fighting a worm. It's like a bad version of Dune. What if I um, make my way down this way? Going down into a cave is like our best option right off the bat because we do really need cobwebs in order to make cloth. Like all of our initial armor is made with cloth. Um, most of our good weapons utilize cloth in some way. And we're just going to use cloth like right at the beginning for multiple things. I'll pick up uh, that teal mushroom. I'm not sure if it's used for anything in Calamity. Or, sorry, in Thorium. I might be doing that a lot to begin with. <laughs> Just deal with it. What do we got? Oh, I, for, I forgot that I picked up that radar. Um, get rid of that brown pressure plate. I think the worm is gone. I'll take it. I, that's that's good news for us. All right, let's look at the rest of the bosses. So, we have Grand Thunderbird. Um, King Slime, Eye of Cthulhu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patchwork and Blood Moon. Pla Patchwork is part of Blood Moon. The Blood Moon is fairly important in Calamity. We have a house down here, by the way. I see it. Don't don't worry. Uh, Queen Jellyfish, which is a really funny boss. Uh, Queen Bee, Viscount, Skeletron, Corpse Bloom, Illusionistic. It goes on and on and on, all the way down to the Primordials, which is a post Moon Lord boss. So Moon Lord is one boss away from being the end game. So it kind of gives you an idea of like the length of the series that this will be. But I think it'll be a nice um, change of pace from. Calamity, considering the last two modded series we did happened to be Calamity. There's a lot of cobwebs in this. This is perfect. I'm so excited. <laughs> I, I needed this very badly. We're going to need a lot of cloth. So the more cobweb, cobwebs I can get, the better. Oh my goodness, a cloud and a balloon right off the bat. That's, that's really nice. Cloud and a balloon is one of my favorite beginning accessories. That will help us immensely. And then we have a water chest here with a trident. Not that I'm going to use the trident, but I'll, I'll take... Oh, it's a godly trident, too. I'll take the water... Um, the, 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 the water chest, at least. Oh, and there's a health... Oh, what? This is starting off amazing. We just, like, found ourselves in an amazing cave. We're whistling our way through it. <laughs> I'm out of inspiration. Our inspiration regeneration rate will um, go up significantly as we get certain accessories which I am looking forward to diving in and getting. Some of those require cloth, which is why I'm very excited to get us some cobwebs. We have 88. That's not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and shelter down for a second. We're going to 
We're gonna go in here. We're just gonna close this. I don't want to get attacked. Um, I should also use that. So let's let's take a look. The cobwebs can make us some cloth, and the cloth can make us this recipe browser, by the way, super handy. Uh, the cloth can make us a bunch of stuff, like a drum mallet. I think that sounds way better than this whistle. Oh my goodness! Wait, how much how much um, cobwebs did it take to make cloth? Four. All right, that's not bad. We can make quite a bit of cloth. Uh, there's a, a, tram a tambourine that's with chlorophyte, but there is a normal tambourine with copper bars. Okay, that's good. There's a whole set of really cool armor here, but we're probably going to go with the criers stuff. I'm going to need more cobwebs in order to make that. Just quick math in my head doing that one. There's, oh, there's this really cool camping set. That's a, it's a vanity set. I like that quite a lot. Uh, you see, here's that healer item. we got bongos, but I need... Hellstone for the bongos. Uh, music notes, I need black ink, so you're gonna have to go to the ocean. As you can tell, there's like a bunch of stuff. What's the pad of paper do? Increases inspiration regeneration rate by 10%. Ooh, baby, that's pretty nice. Cool, let's um go do more exploring. I'm getting attacked by a bat. Go away, bat. This is bad. <laughs> not, not bat, but bad. There's also something down there. One of those beetle things. Uh, oh, I forgot that I have double jump. Haha. -ha. That's awesome. Oh, and there's some coal. Mm, obviously, there's a granite biome nearby. Oh, this is actually really annoying. I may, I may go back. I may have dug too deep and too greedily. But we got we got ourselves. Get back, elemental. Back. We got some smooth coal. Not to be confused with smooth criminal. Go away. Oh, my goodness. This granite elemental is insane. Dude, like, just, please. Okay, oh, that was nice. <laughs> what did we get out of that? Uh, granite blocks. Nothing I want to deal with there, actually. I'm, uh, can I jump up over here? It's, it's possible that there's some stuff up here. Let's go ahead and get a rope going. And go check. Uh, maybe, uh, definitely not a dead end. All right, I'm going to go look this way. There wasn't much over there, but uh, you know, I got a bunch of um, iron and copper, so it's, I mean, it's better than nothing. Oh, we just got an opal. Uh, what can we make with an opal? The opal ring increases symphonic damage by, by one. Bad hiccup there. Um, let's see here. I need arcane dust, which you get from stars. So I'm going to have to go back to the surface and make sure I explore a little bit at night in order to get some stars found a, a train track oh and there's some platinum here oh maybe we can get that i think it's a bugle actually i don't think it's a trumpet might be a bugle maybe it's a trombone i don't <laughs> remember it's a wind instrument that's for sure i just don't remember what kind but you could get that with platinum i'll take a look at the recipe in just a second here but i remember it being fairly good the one time that i decided to test out uh, the bard, which actually happened to be back in the, the modded mage series for Calamity. So like 2020, was that 2021 or 2020? I don't remember. Might've been the end of 2020 into 2021. I definitely did the hardcore series in 2020. So it's, you know, it's been a bit. There's some gems over here I want to get, but I can't see a thing. Oh my goodness, stop it with the lights. Oh, I should should also mention that I was going to do a little quick playthrough of the um, Starlight River demo, which is, um, it's, a, it's a Terraria mod and it's really cool. It's like, it's at, at the point that they're developing that thing, it's not Terraria anymore. It's like really cool. It, it looks like a game that you might find on the Nintendo Switch. Like it's really quite impressive. Um, but I was having issues getting it to load properly. And I'm not sure why. And I think I have to reinstall um, Tmod Loader in order to do that. But I was having issues with that. So I'm just, I'm going to put that on pause. And it may pop up later this week, maybe. Um, maybe after a couple episodes of this. So just keep an eye on the channel for it. I found an earthen golem. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest. I think it's going to take me a while to kill. Oh, by the way, I forgot to look at this. Family heirloom, equipable. This jewelry has been passed down your family for generations. It makes the Mullinier. 
That sounds awesome. What was that? Oh my goodness, he just dropped a rock on me. I don't I'm not dealing with this guy. Alright, I think I think we're getting out of here. I feel like we've been at this long enough. Um also it may very well be daytime again. So I'm gonna have to wait again for, for nighttime. So teal mushroom just does die, like it does in vanilla. Um coal is gonna make us all sorts of stuff. A guitar pick. Uh, five percent increased symphonic playing speed, string weapon projectiles, bounce an additional time. Ooh, that's awesome. There's a grand piano. Um, I need ten coal. I don't have that much. Uh, plunger mute. There's a mouse piece. There's a, a vibration tuner, a vinyl record. There's a lot of cool stuff. Ah, oh, I'm really excited for this. Oh, by the way, the escape rocket super duper cool item activates a rocket that uncontrollably sends you high into the air if you want to find like sky islands without doing the the gravitation potion and stuff then that's that's a pretty good way to do it what else have we gotten that we can make so we got onyx onyx is used in the onyx ring which is armor penetration that's not bad um kinetic potion allows you to double tap dash that's super nice i can make a geode um, I can make a, oh, that's magic. We're not doing magic. We're basically going pure bard. So we're not going to get any of this other stuff. I can make an onyx hook if I had 15. Onyx staff can't make that. Uh, what else do we have here that we could possibly use? <sighs> not much. So in order to make the cobweb into cloth, I, oh, it's just a workbench. Actually, that is rather nice so if i come in here and i make all this into cloth because we're gonna need it i still don't have enough to make the full set but you know what i can make some weapons probably yeah i can make the drum mallet let's try that instead uh instead of the wooden whistle so this does nine damage right click to create a bouncy drum for players to jump on playing empowers players with a bonus for jump height bonus so if I jump on this, that's amazing. <laughs> so this is basically a melee weapon then. That's kind of cool. Jump height. I like that. Um, that's It's so cool that we could just buff ourselves. And obviously, like having additional weapons, like I can give myself the bonus from this and this at the same time. You see, I, I get the, the nice bonuses there. So that's quite nice. Uh, Topaz. I don't believe there's anything in particular that we're going to make with the topaz. This is magic stuff. Ranged. Yeah, I think we're just going to hold on to it. And the the ring is throwing damage. I think what I really need to do is go ahead and just get everything set up here. So I need all of my crafting stations, like a furnace and a... Boo -boo -boo. Let's, let's move this out of the way. This stupid chair, which I'm going to put here. <laughs> I say move it out of the way. I move it just one space over so I can actually fit the anvil. And we'll get magic storage and all that set up later. I don't have all the stuff for it right this moment. So instead, I'm going to do the whole... Where is that? Where am I? What am I? I'm looking for platforms. Boom, boom. So we're going to do the platform trick. So I'm going to put a couple platforms down there. And we'll put a couple chests down on top of that. So that way I can just plunge basically everything into here. Is there anything that I want to keep in my inventory immediately? Probably those and those. Uh, I think everything, well, maybe the gel. I'm gonna need, yeah, let's let's go ahead and just use up all the gel. Mix torches. And I want to probably put that on to free up an inventory slot. All right, from here on, we're just gonna go ahead and deposit all. And now we can make a bunch of bars. So copper bars, 40 of them. Goodness, that's a lot of copper bars. Almost 40 iron, a um, little bit of silver, a little bit of platinum. Okay, so what can I make with all of that then? So I can make a harmonica, uh, resource grab range by one. That's pretty nice. We could do uh, a tambourine. There's a single jiggly tambourine. Movement speed bonus. Ooh, baby. Let's do let's do a tambourine. Let's do a harmonica. We're just going to try it all. You know, there's a, there's a lot of stuff here to actually use. And I want to try it. Um, we have all of this armor. But I don't have enough 
materials to make it all. So I'm just going to go ahead and make the hat. I actually meant to make the chest piece, but that's nice. Increases regeneration rate of inspiration by 4%. All right, let's 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 check the tambourine. Oh, it's a boomerang. All right, you know what? I'll take it. Plus, it gives me, what, movement speed? Is that what it was? 5%. Oh. 5% base and bonus movement speed. Um, we also have the harmonica. Oh, that's actually not bad because it shoots three at a time. And this is what gives us resource grab range. I'm going to go explore the left. By the way, let's look at our map. We we went pretty good into there. I'm curious about this this flute that you can get off of the surface chest, but I, I'm not... I'm not like relying on it. I don't think we're I don't think we're necessarily just gonna get it. But I I like the fact that we have all of these weapons available to us. Um so I have like a like a melee weapon. I've got my tambourine, which I hope makes a funny noise when it hits things, because that would make sense. It would be really funny. Um also I just probably should just keep the bonus movement speed buff up as much as I can. As an art harmonica for the range. I don't know if I'm gonna use the whistle. Let's, let's try it. Oh, wow. That is a lot better than that whistle in it because it's got three freaking projectiles that it shoots out. Oh, that's really nice. All right. Let's let's try the um, let's try the tambourine on this guy here. Oh, that's not enough range, is it? Nope. Nope. You know what? I like the tambourine sound. That's funny. <laughs> I like that a lot. We, we need to try out the, the drum mallet now. As soon as I get that water leaf, though. Water leaf, so good. Oh, I do... Uh, this is a change that I've made, and I want to I talk about it before I show off the entire mod list. I did uninstall Alchemist NPC, which I have been known to be using because it makes uh, the potion hunt way, way easier. Less tedious. However, I uninstalled the, the primary portion of it. I did install the Alchemist um, NPC Lite. All right, let's try out this mallet on these guys. See what this does. You know what? That's that's also not bad. We, we got some good weapons to begin with. I'll tell you what. All right. Get him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so Alchemist NPC Lite basically is the same thing, except, and I, I think that this is an important distinction to make, it does not add in all of those really odd items that it has like the the weapons that like level up with you those are super cool don't get me wrong but that's not we've not we've never used them in a modded playthrough it's not what we're going for here like we're focused on oh we got crimson world okay cool uh we're focused on on the thorium stuff so there's no reason to have that stuff in there it also removes some of the other random npcs that are honestly just gonna take up space in our houses that we're gonna make um which are the the i think there's like a musician that like gives you the ability to play like certain calamity music and whatnot that's that's okay i'm not i'm not super looking forward to that i also don't think that this is the place to be right now <laughs> maybe maybe not maybe maybe we go back home we still got some of these i just realized i have 23 freaking gold coins let's get us a piggy bank so that way i'm not screwing myself over um we'll get rid of that stuff and i'll dump this into there oh i didn't realize i had a bunch of silver ore still i thought i could only make like a hand oh wait no i killed something that had silver on it i think okay so do that uh what are we at with that so we've got how many bars eight are we able, able to actually make any specific? Oh, I, by the way, I'm also avoid, avoiding the bulwarks. So, so these are like shields, um, which is really cool. But I, I, you, you guys can let me know whether you think that this is more of a melee item or not. I feel like it is, so I feel like I want to avoid it because it's not barred, and I want to go all in on the barred stuff. Let's see here. If I had. Uh, more coal. I can make a guitar pick, but that's not super useful. We got the plunger mute, the mouthpiece. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, and at the same time, I also need to kind of hold out for... Oh, wait. I just realized. What am I doing? Topaz hook. Let's get a hook, baby. We need a hook. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't really 
really know. I, I feel like... I, I, I don't know. I feel like I maybe I just go underground and find more cobwebs. But there's the the traveling merchant, which will give you dynasty wood every now and again. Dynasty wood is used for um, going and doing the, I think it's like a basic mouse piece or something like that. But that allows us to make more bard stuff. So I got to keep an eye out for the traveling merchant. It's, it is... It is a priority to get some dynasty wood, but that's mostly because some of the bard stuff requires it. Um, the alternative method is the fact that we do have the alchemist NPC stuff going, which means that we're going to get things like the architect, and then we could just buy that stuff from him, which I don't feel like is cheating per se. I don't think it's like diminishing the gameplay it's just speeding some things up that otherwise i would have to wait for and i'm okay with that in a series that i'm trying to be entertaining in <laughs> because otherwise i'm just wasting a bunch of your time oh yeah more cobwebs baby ah oh, there's something attacking me oh my goodness no wrong weapon i'm forgetting which weapon i've bound to which button uh, let's, ooh, a night owl potion. Actually, that may not be, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to most of my potions, I think, actually. M mostly just because I want to make sure that if a boss, like the Eye of Cthulhu, when it, when it spawns, that we can potentially kill it. Um, but the Grand Thunderbird is gonna be our primary, um, boss that we're gonna focus on to begin with. And in order to kill the Grand Thunderbird, we need to get to the desert, um, to to kill some things there to get the materials in order to summon it. It's like a flare gun or something that we need. Um, in fact, we can check that in just a moment. Let's check. So Grand Thunderbird is, yeah, it's a flare gun with a storm flare and that stuff you just get out of the, um, the desert. So that'll be a focus probably next episode. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to go to the desert this episode. You never know though. It's, it's a possibility. I'm just trying to get to the stupid chest. There we go. Okay. Uh, torch, torch, torch. Thank you. I, f I feel like we're not getting super good stuff anymore. I got what I wanted to begin with, which is our cloud in a bottle. But outside of that, it's just kind of giving us regular stuff. In fact, I probably should go up to the surface now that it's nighttime. Search for some stars. I think that's going to be pretty key. For Ooh, there's more money over here. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> I ain't gonna complain about money. I'll complain about items. I'm not gonna complain about money. Uh, the nurse moved in over here. Nurse, what are you doing, girl? I know I'm not full health, but what are you, why are you over here? <laughs> you shouldn't be over here. You should, you should go find a better place. Uh, do I want to explore? Oh, I hear a star. Let's go get it. Uh, can we? No, that's the wrong weapon. There we go. I actually, you know what? I think, I think we can handle getting the star without killing everything, maybe. Or maybe I'll just kill it anyways. <laughs> I may as well, right? Man, this this harmonica is awesome. I th I feel like just beeline it for the harmonica if you can right off the bat. It, uh, it was like iron, I think, is what it required, and it is it is doing some work. There's another star. Oh heck yeah. This is, this is really nice. I like getting the stars off the bat just so we can get all of the stuff that requires it uh, made as, as quickly as possible. Oh, and there's another star right here. That's perfect. All right, let's, let's pick that up. Oh, uh, uh, there it is. Nice. They just, they just showered me in stars. Let's go ahead and craft these. So I'm going to need the arcane dust for that. Uh, there's obviously a bunch of stuff that we can make here. The opal ring, I think, is going to be the first thing. Artificers? Rocketeers? Huh. Interesting. Um, don't think I've ever seen that before. So what do I want to make from the rings? Ooh, inspiration fragment. Consumable. Permanently increases maximum inspiration by one up to 20. Permanently increases chance for inspiration notes to drop by 1%. Permanently increases max inspiration unit use empowerment durations by 1.25%. I need 
thorium bars for that. Okay, that's fine. That's that's not far off from where we're at. So opal ring, I need to make a band. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I need to look at the right thing. That's the first, first step. <laughs> so we need a band. And then with the band, we can make an opal ring. Nice. And that gives us what? Symphotic damage increased by one. That's not bad considering we're doing like 10 damage a hit. It's like a 10% increase, so I'll take it. A mana bobble, an orb of coalesced energy, ma maximum mana increased by 10. We're not using mana, so I'm not worried about that. Um, I know that there's like a bunch of other stuff that we could potentially make. Also, we got a living wood sap. Minion damage increased by one. Oh, that's interesting. So if you're playing summoner, go for the living wood trees. You might be able to get uh, a little bit extra minion damage. We got potions, the arcane dust, shine potion. Actually, I feel like I want to put the arcane dust over here just to make it easier to craft stuff. And the, and the silver. <laughs> and the strange plant I picked up on the way back. Just going to go ahead and sell that for 20 silver. Not even going to bother with it. Right. All right. Let's deposit. No, I wanted to deposit all that. There we go. Including that and these. Man, we're, we're got a really nice start here. We also picked up a bunch of extra cobwebs, which will help potentially make us, yeah, a new armor piece. Let's go with the sash. So this is gonna increase our inspiration regeneration rate by 7%. That's quite nice. How many more cloths do we have? Two, how many do we need for the pants? 12, so we just need 10 more. That's not bad. All right, let's go quickly take a look at the mods. So as I mentioned, I'm using Alchemist NPC Lite, which allows us to get, to, you know, basically just buy a bunch of stuff from the Alchemist and Brewer. Um, but we also get kind of a unique thing of when we kill bosses, we get points. And with those points, we can buy modded bags and normal bags for from bosses so it saves us having to refight bosses a bunch of times necessarily uh calamity's disabled because we're not using it but we have thorium so that's our main mod recipe browser which you've been seeing me use um you have to bind it in the settings by the way to have a button to bring it up uh, there's a bunch of bindings that you can use for it boss checklist which is how we knew what bosses are there a magic storage which we haven't seen yet but is super handy for inventory management uh boss cursor again haven't seen it but it's handy i use it in all of my modded stuff same with vein miner which allows us to mine all of the ore um all at once as you saw uh we got another health bar for our bosses which just makes it kind of like uh terraria 1.4 um have that boss health bar show up in the bottom use control to quick trash from 1.4 and then smart doors from 1.4. So yeah, that's our mod list. That's what we're playing with all the way through. I like it so far. I think that everything is working, but uh, yeah, now we need to jump back in and probably set up for the Grand Thunderbird.